It stinks in here. It's kind of dirty like in poop. here, Like huh? poop. It smells like poop. Well, I think that's that's our kid. <laughs> <laughs> Did Calvin... Oh my gosh, Cal! You totally poop! Well, it's a good thing there's a toilet right here. We'll be right back. <laughs> Oh wow, bow, bow, bow. I've been feeling fine, baby. Dude, you are looking fly today. Good morning, Jackson, how are you? Good, do you sleep well? Good, I'm glad to hear it. You just strutting your stuff this morning? Yeah. Yeah. If you can strut your stuff, you start your day right. Oh yeah, stretch it all out, buddy, good job. So this morning we've been cleaning and taking care of things, getting the kids ready. And Calvin has been uncharacteristically cranky. And I'm not sure if he didn't sleep well last night, but you can tell that he's definitely tired. And I just peeked into Calvin's room and I wanna show you this. must be so tired. I don't know. <laughs> Look how tired he is. He is asleep in your arms at 9 o'clock. 9.30, but still. He's so cute when he's not angry. <laughs> oh, I love him so much. Yeah. He fell asleep in my arms last night, putting him to bed. Oh my gosh, I love those moments. It makes everything worth it. I think one of the hardest things about being a toddler is not being able to communicate what you want. And I think that's exactly what was going on with Calvin is he couldn't communicate exactly what he wanted. Don't you think, Jackson? Is that the hardest thing about being a toddler? Uh-huh. Yeah? Well, we'll learn. Yeah? What time is it? Show time, show time. It's gonna That's right, let's go to gymnastics. You ready to go, buddy? Yeah. Whoa, that was a good move. Good job. Okay, let's go get in the van. Oh, we gotta get your little shoesies on first. <laughs> Where do we always put your shoes, bud? Uh, cubby. In your cubby, let's go get them. He's so smart. He must get it from his dad. Alright guys, do you remember last summer when all of my sisters and I kind of went a little crazy and cut up all of our winter pants into shorts? Well, this year is no different. <laughs> so I have a really hard time finding shorts that I like and when I do, a lot of times they are just way too big in the hips, like they don't fit like pants do. And so when we were going to Playlist, I was at Target and I never buy my pants at Target because it just seems like they're just always too wide in the hips. And I saw they had a huge section, I don't know if it's new or not, I don't go to Target as often as I want to, but it was like their skinny stretchy pants and they just had like a whole bunch of them. And I found a white pair and these were really cute pants. <laughs> And like it, they fit really, really nice. And so I wore them as pants for like one or two times. And I knew I bought them so I could wear them as shorts. So, um, yeah, I cut them. I just, I put them on. I marked them with a marker where I wanted to cut them. And then I rolled them up. So there we go. And I think they're really cute. And I'm very happy with my decision. Are you ignoring me? <laughs> Calvin, he guys, he is such a trickster. Open your eyeballs. Okay, bye bye <laughs> Are you happy now? Guys, let me see him. You trickster. He's closing his eyes. Hey, you look like you had a crazy sleep. Are you happy now? That was a little crazy. You thought, I'm tired and I'm going to flip. And now you're happy. Are you hungry? <laughs> how does he know to trick? No. And how does he know to joke? Are you ready to get out? <laughs> Are you ready to get out? Come here, you want your blanket too? And your drink? Grab all your stuff. 
Oh, there you go. Oh, cuddles. Growing up, my dad always told me three slides is the key to happiness. And I'm not talking about the slides you sit on your bum and you go down. Those are amazing and those make you happy. But he's talking about the slides of RVs. And <laughs> we're not ready for that just yet. But we do want to look at something and we want to have a little fun and we want to bring you along for the ride. Hi, Mr. Sleepyhead. Again. This is... <laughs> That is pretty big to lift. Ellie and I found out that both of our parents, one of their favorite things to do was window shop RVs. <laughs> yeah, growing up, Julie and I would go and we would love going because they would have like bunk beds. And Jackson has been going up here. Now this is not what we are looking for. We are looking for something very, very small. More like a pop-up tent trailer. What do you want to show me? Yeah, these are cool though, but... That's a bed. Isn't that cool? Yeah, these are pretty sweet. <laughs> You're so excited. Jackson, show me what you got. Your fidget spinner and a candy. It's, they, a, it's a spicy candy. A spicy one. The guy said that they only had one here of kind of what we were looking for, like a really small one. This is so cool. Yes, my parents used to always take us and we would go look at these and Julie and I would love to get on the golf cart. So Julie and I would go with my mom and dad a lot. This is called um, like a cart, golf cart kind of. Jerry and I are looking for a small enough trailer that the van will pull and something that would be fun for like weekend trips to go camping with Penny and the kids. And they have one here that is the weight capacity for the van, but we haven't seen inside of it yet. I like this one. Is that the one you like? Is that the one that we're gonna look at? Woohoo! Now we're thinking about a pop-up trailer because those are so much lighter, but he was showing us these ones that are hard shell that also have the pop-out ends for sleeping. This one is like on the higher end of the weight, so I haven't seen it inside yet, but I'm kind of excited. Ooh, sleepy bed. Is that cool? Yeah. My grandma and grandpa would ha had one of these, and we loved playing in it. Oh yeah, this looks so it, fun. Even though this is like new, it yeah. this kind of smells the same. <laughs> It, it comes in with the, the yeah. grandma and grandpa smell built in. Yeah. So tell me the experience you had when you were with your family. And you so, like... I mean, we would always just go to the RV shows and we'd get into like the biggest one that we could ever find. And we'd sit down and we would just close there's our eyes. Movie and, there's and, movie we just, and my dad says, see, there's, there's a movie there's theater. One. It's like a movie theater. There's a TV, huh? Yeah. You see, there's one slide, two slide, three slides. <sighs> And that's happiness. <laughs> that's funny. My parents would go and I think they were really serious at one point. They really wanted one. They never got one. There um, is a full on bathroom and shower in here. And Jared and I have been looking online at some. I think the reason why you like the hard shell was because it had more storage like this. You have the hard stuff so you can have the fridge, you can have the microwave, you can have yeah. the air conditioner, whereas the pop-ups are so much lighter but you don't get that stuff, like the, the shower. But I don't think I really wanted like a toilet shower because like it was more just like, just so we could sleep type of thing, you know? More camping like. Yeah. I can't stay sleep. It stinks in here. It's kind of dirty like in poop. here, huh? It smells like poop. Well, I think that's that's our kid. <laughs> <laughs> Did Calvin... Oh my gosh, Cal! You did like poop. Well, it's a good thing there's a toilet right here. We'll be right back. <laughs> I seriously say it stinks because it like looks kind of dirty in there. Well, wowzers. So to finish my thought, the reason why I was like, I don't want a toilet and stuff like with all that is like, it's more cleaning, more maintenance, and more space. I'd rather have more space than that. Yeah, this is a little shorter, I think, than the other pop-outs. I could be wrong. What do you think? Uh, do you like it? Yeah, off. You want to get off? Do you like this? I think these are just too big for us. We need to find a soft... <laughs> no! We need to find a soft shell. These are too big. You can't fall in love with one, because then you want it, even though you can't have it, right? <laughs> these are cool, but we need to look at the others. I'm driving. I'm driving. I'm the driving boo. You are such a good driver. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I could totally see why our parents oh loved looking at these things, gosh. don't you think? Um, they're cute. Oh, look, the kids are cute. And this is exactly how Julie and I were. It was like, yes! Look at this. Let's get three of them. Oh, so, what? Ellie. Oh, TV. I think this is the one, our new dream home. <laughs> Mobile dream home. Hey, Dad, he said, show us the Daddy. biggest, craziest one you got. Dad, yeah. Look at 
TV. I think that TV's bigger than our bedroom. Daddy, Dad, I can play video games on this. Yes, you sure can. That's my son. That's my son. I mean, like this bedroom is like bigger than the bedroom at our cabin. And you guys have seen that. We're stopping at another place to look up at some of their trailers, hopefully a softer shell rather than the hard shell because those are a little heavier. And I texted Julie, mom and dad, and I said, remember when mom and dad would take us to RV campers? It was so fun. We're looking at pop-up trailers right now and they have so many cool ones. And my mom just wrote back and said, LOL, we, dro we drove by an RV lot just a couple days ago and dad said, do you want to stop? <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. Jared's just running into the store real quick to try and figure something out with our vlog camera, our other vlog camera, because I'm vlogging with you guys right now. One of my favorite memories growing up was going camping. My dad would take all the kids and we, and my mom sometimes, but specifically my dad would take us girls on this trip and we would go fishing all weekend and we would go four wheeling and we could go into the store and it was like the one time where it was like you could pick out anything you wanted and dad would buy it because it was for camping you know and it was just so fun and I said I wonder like what memories or what things we want to do with our kids and right now we tend to travel a lot and that won't always be the case I don't imagine we will always be going like that especially when the kids are older and school and just you know priorities that we need to be home for and I just think that camping would be really fun and this is just fun to do and I can totally see why my parents would do that all the time growing up going and looking at trailers but I'm excited to keep going the kids are loving it <laughs> they were mad when we left and I was like we're going to another one so oh my gosh oh. who did that Calvin I thought we okay oh, look, look let's clean it up this is. Look at that. we got popcorn in your microwave so we just got to clean it up okay this one is the weight limit and it's exactly what we wanted it actually feels like you have quite a bit of space to walk around so the kids would sleep up here that's pretty big and then jared and i would sleep over there Woo! it's cool jared bear i like yeah. it that's my favorite yeah. song yeah me too so be honest do you think we're crazy for even thinking about this oh, kind absolutely. of stuff absolutely <laughs> you know what mom just said actually she said do it well she said without hesitation didn't you say that uh, <laughs> I, actually, when mom told me you were coming, that you don't want to talk to us, I was hoping you had something behind. Oh! <laughs> that's true. Oh, that's so fun. You know how I was talking about our camping trip? Like, that was like the most fun things to do, like to go camping with dad when it was just dad that would take the kids. Dad just asked, he goes, Now, how many times did you go? Because it was a boys' trip, but dad has a bunch of girls, so we got to go. And I was like, I got to go twice? <laughs> And he's like, and see, that's your memory. Like, yeah. just those two times made a difference. You don't have to do this every year for 20 years to create memories. It's, it's like a couple of times and you'll have lifetime memories. Yeah. Do this, and if you like it, you continue would. doing it. If you don't, find another hobby. Yeah. I, well, that's the thing is you can always yeah. sell it if yeah. you don't, if it's not doesn't suit your fancy or if you're not getting out of it what you want, right? Yeah? Yeah, yeah? yeah I can't. How many times did we go look at these things? Oh. Uh, every summer. Yeah. Every yeah. summer. Yeah. yeah. It's one of the triggers that I wish we had a pole. Yeah. Well, hmm. if we do this. Oh, we will. It's just when. <laughs> there's a bed with grandma and grandpa's name on it. Oh, absolutely. So. <laughs> but, but we just can't show up the same time, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, I mean, grandma and grandpa, if you all four want to squeeze in there, that's fine. It doesn't, oh, we don't have last names kids, on kids there. Kids can sleep. Um, no. We'll do a tent yeah, in we'll, front we'll, of it for the yeah. kids. If we come, we'll bring a pup tent and throw the kids out there. There you go. There. Right. <laughs> so we came home and I think we spent, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes trying to get these kids into bed. And Jackson was asleep, Calvin was in his room, and we got some special visitors come. Mom and Dad came over, and I'm not sure if it was Mom and Dad's voice or what, but suddenly we have another visitor and another. These kids are awake and it is past, it's 9.09, .09, two hours after your bedtime. What do you have to say for yourself, young man? You're the poo. I'm oh, the poo. What do you say to dad? I'm not sure if that's a compliment or not. No, what do you say to dad? I love you, dad. Oh, that's so nice of you to say thank you, buddy. But you're still going to have to go to bed yeah. after this. Yeah. We're just talking about the little trailer and getting all excited all over again, but with my parents this time. What do you guys think about it? We think it's a great idea. Mm -hmm.
Guys, I keep pulling a Jared. <laughs> I keep falling asleep in my chair at my desk. I did it like twice last night. Um, even though I was up late with my friends, I came back and I fell asleep for like two hours in my desk chair and I had the most crinked neck in the world. I could not even believe it. But tonight, I woke up from being in my desk, I let Penny out, and my contact fell out. Miraculously, I caught it out of thin air in the dark with my fingers and put it back in my eyeball, this one right here, without a mirror. I know I'm a ninja. Anyway, with that note, we're gonna end the vlog. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.